Okay. Welcome all to the uh, June 1st, 2022 meeting of the Board of Water and Sewer Commissioners. As always, the first, uh, first order is the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. The minutes from um, May 4th. Chairman, we can make a motion to accept the minutes of May 4th. I'll second it, Mr. Chairman. Okay, motion's been made and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Okay. Um, all right, I'm going to take the next two out of order just because one of them is here and one of them will be done by via telephone. Um, so uh, you're here for 19 Brandon Road? Okay. Um, you can come up to come up to the table. Nineteen. That's this one. Okay. Did you just sign in? She did. No. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so what's what's the issue here? So the issue um, the, the the water is like three months. I feel like four hundred, four hundred something. And the bills came one time is like four, three thousand something, mm -hmm. and the house is burned from like a couple months ago in March twenty five. You know that nineteen Brandon Brown, the one and got fired in March last March. Okay. So I don't know why I came here from like a couple weeks ago and I asked why is this come like three thousand dollar, and she told me I don't know. I told her so I I need to know because I have all my history. I pay like four hundred, three hundred something. So why is this come like four, like three something, three thousand something, and now I don't have any income. So my house is burned, and my husband had passed away from like a couple years ago, and I don't have all this money to pay now. I don't have like income, and I told her I can't pay like three hundred the one I I pay. But what the reason to th that come like three thousand dollar, three something, for like three months come like three thousand dollar for I can't understand why. She told me I don't know. George, did you? All I know about this, it was shut off at the side, I believe inside the house, but they were in there. But that was, um, um, it looks like the uh, the quarter is um, cycle 2, 2022, which was 10-5-21. Uh, that was last October. That was before the fire. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and then I there's, know, been two, there's been two quarters since then. How is this? Well, when when was the fire? March twenty five or March twenty fourth. Okay, so there was there was usage, and then then that one a little bit less. But uh, okay, did have you looked into that or pulled the meter or anything like that? No, we haven't done anything with it yet. We didn't really go in there because of the fire, you know, situation mm -hmm. in there. Um, it's boarded up right now, and there's nobody allowed to go in into there. There's nobody allowed to go in. I can pay like 300 or the 400 like the same before because I, I don't have any income now, so. Now, Sorry. you don't have, do you have any swimming pools or anything nothing, like that? Nothing, nothing. It, do you have any work done in the building? Nothing. 19,000 gallons usage. Yep. Okay. No, cubic feet. 19,000 cubic feet. The cubic feet, right. But Which is I mean, more than a gallon. 20,000. So normally, 40, gallons. That's about 140,000 gallons. You know? yeah. yeah, but normally she's using 3,800 and then she jumps up yeah. to 19. Yeah. Doesn't, you know. Yeah, well, um, something what's, looks odd. What's mysterious is the next two readings are in line. Yeah. They're back yeah. down to the same number. 39. Outside of, you know, rate increases. Why did it Why did it spike up on that 10 uh, uh October, October 21. Yeah, the October reading. Why did it spike? <clears throat> but 
you know, that's that's more than a bat, that's more than a toilet. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Is it is it more than a toilet? I don't know if it's running twenty four seven. All depends. Yeah, that's yeah. I mean, I know I had a number of things that left out. Holes going on or something. Uh, that's a three month period. Something leaking twenty four seven over three months. Have, Mr. Chairman, first thing we're going to do is check the meter. Can't get in the house though. Yeah, no one can go. That's the house. fire scene. That's the fire scene. Mm -hmm. So when you look at the bill and uh, uh, it was like August. It was June, what July, August, September type mm -hmm. weather. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, um, <clears throat> that is unusual. Um, it has been the, uh, the long-standing policy, and, and I got caught in it one year, a, a while back, um, that if, if, if the water went through the meter, then, then you have to pay for it. Um, I don't know... Um, where those two um, quarters came down to near normal again. Yeah, exactly. After this is coming like back like normal. The 538 is still high, but higher than everything else. And then it came back down to 456, which is right, right, right in the median. Looks like some water was left running for a it while. Looks, it sounds like something was left running. Whether it be a, nothing, a toilet nothing. ran or um, outside an outside faucet was turned on, um, uh, kids playing in a play, kids playing in the hose, or you know, is, is that a multifamily? Are the tenants living in the home, or is it just a single family? So the the multifamily house is like three people. My friend, she lives with her Dora and her husband, and the other uh, apartment too is the lady with two. A kid, and the upstairs is the old lady. So there's three families living three in the Three families, house. yeah. Um, yeah, the only thing we can do is um, take a look at the uh, meter. You know, if we can get a hold of the meter, have the meter checked to make sure that it's it's sound. But it looks like it is. Um, I think we need to just to the fact just, that it's just to be the one out of one out of it's out just of in mind. the way it looks like you know for um, some reason now why why is there no access is it, is it still locked up with uh, it's boarded up it's it's still investigating and until the boards till they stop you know take everything and start the reconstruction then we we can go in um, with permission okay. Um, are you just taking the radio readings right now? Yeah, I mean, we could do that, but that doesn't give us an that's idea. that's where these numbers came from, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, we need to know if there's been an action, if, while it's running, if there's something, providing nobody else touches anything else and they were, says, oh, geez, I found something and then I fixed it because they're going to do some remodeling and reconstruction yeah. work, so it, we could try. <laughs> Is that so, shut off at the curb stop now, Josh, yeah. for safety? Yeah. yeah. So you don't have a, yeah. a repeat, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So the only, um, yeah, I mean, I suppose if it, you know if the, the the board agrees, we can we can put that amount in you know, on hold until uh, the meter can be checked. But I think I don't I would, know. I would make a recommendation: we put the collection of that amount on hold until we can uh, verify the accuracy of the meter. If the meter turns out to be accurate and that much water passed through the meter, you're going to have to pay for it. Yeah. The meters don't just run for no reason. I mean, they 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 don't. If if it's broken, right? I don't know. I yeah. don't know. But if any any tenant did have problem, they will call me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because if something wrong in the house, they will call me. But no one called me. In this is three months. No one called me. If they have something wrong, they can yeah, say. Yeah. I I can point it out. You can have a lot of like that toilet is a silent leak. You don't hear it. You don't know it. It's, it's going over the top. That's what that's what happened to me. You know, you don't ran even over know the it's leaking. Yeah. A toilet in the basement. It just ran. They don't have anything like that because, like, they call me when anything happened in the home, you know, when the yeah. someone rented the house, they call like me. You say okay. you have an elderly tenant, if they can't hear it, 
<laughs> they can't report it. That's all. I'm just yep. saying. No, so we'll, um, I don't know if somebody wants to put that in the form of a motion or, or, um, I put it in the form of a motion. Okay. I made the motion. I'll second that motion. Okay. I, just, um, I think, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I just think till we get all the facts. Right. But like you said, if the media checked, if the media checks out that the water went through it, we have to bill it. We can't say we feel bad, only pay this much. Because if we do it for you, we have to do it for everybody. We'd have to do it for, if I did it for my mother, God bless us all, I'd have to do it for everybody. So it's, if we go by the, the meter, if the meter checks out 100% accurate and it says the water went through, then we have to build that water. Okay, I, I understand that 100%, but I don't have all this money to pay it. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, we'll wait, wait to see, I mean, we can wait and see what, what, what comes of the meter. That's, I mean, that's the best we can do. And then, so I'm, uh, okay, the, uh, now let's, and the motion's been made and seconded. Uh, uh, one more thing. Any, go ahead. The, the collection office can make a payment schedule if it comes down to it, so that not do the whole lump sum at once. Right. Oh yeah, we'll work with you. You pay it over time. Um, okay. The best we can do. All right. Okay. Uh, motion's been made and seconded. Uh, any further discussion? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Four zero. Um, yeah. That um, we'll we'll we, we, we'll put it on hold until until we can get in there and, and figure out what make sure the meter is good. Okay. okay, and then at that point we'll 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 be in touch, and then if if we have to, we'll we can work out work out a payment plan or work out something to uh, to uh, take care of it. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right. So I have like two two more bill after the three thousand. Right. So how much? Um. Five thirty-eight and four fifty-six. Yeah, they um. It's like one thousand dollar. Yeah. So now it's currently up to four thousand dollars. Yeah, it's uh, the, yeah that the previous uh, the the two bills. Do you have the bill at home? No. Okay. Yeah, she can have this. Second here. Yeah. Plus, George, the house would still be getting the quarterly bill, service fee bill, even though there's no usage. It's the bottom. Even during this fire, the, the, when the house is vacant, the but the water and gas, okay, so the water and sewer service is there. Just, yeah, so just, just, just leave that. It gets built now. out. And then we'll figure, we'll figure it out, okay? Thank you so much. Okay. Oops, excuse me. Okay. Um, all right, this phone call. I don't like doing this. Um... Now this one, uh, oh yeah, it's got a $8,900. Oh, what was this situation with this one? Uh, this is on uh, 61 Brandon Road, something about a flood. Not. Filled the basement or something like that. I believe, the yeah. It was empty. Yeah, they, the boys have got older, so I'm not sure exactly what happened. Call this person first before we discuss it. Okay. Uh, let me see, you get the phone number. Turn the valve off. What uh, happened to Danny Bush on up on Jesus Drive the other day? Had a hose blow behind him. I it I'm, even if you're going for a weekend, I shut it off. This is Emily Haywood. Emily Haywood, uh, this is uh, Scott Zakowski. I'm chairman of the Dudley Water Sewer Commission. Okay, thank you for calling. Okay, we're having uh, we're having our monthly meeting, and um, you have a, a dispute of a bill on. Um, for 61 Brandon Road? Yes, I do. I sent an email. Did you get a chance to read it? Um, I did see the email, yes. It was sent around to us, and uh, we 
we have a copy of it here in front of us. Okay, good. Um, I'm hoping that you um, don't charge me $8,910 for what happened at the house. Um, so can you refresh our memory as to what, what exactly did happen? Okay, um, the house uh, has, uh, was unoccupied at the house, okay? And because I, ha I was assaulted by um, a, a neighbor in on Marshall Terrace, Yep. And uh, that person went to jail, got released from jail, and is living in that house again because he made bail. Um, I was I was advised by the district okay. attorneys. Okay. Yeah, we have that. We have that stuff. We have that stuff in writing. Rather than putting that out in uh, in public okay. record, we can we can uh, uh, we can. Um, that's, uh, well, that, that's 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 okay. all. history. Okay. okay. The, the house is for sale, and the water was on for the heating system. Yes, it was, and um, uh, a neighbor uh, was walking down the street and saw something unusual in the house, called the police department and talked to Detective Anise yep. at the police department who was on his shift, and then De Detective Anise phoned me and said, uh, you've got uh, water in your basement, um, and the neighbor uh, that located it actually is a very good handyman because he shut the water off and um, made the water stop. And um, so that um, that was like about a 10 or 11 o'clock at night that night. So um, the water was shut off. The very next day I contacted everybody possible, um, somebody to, um, you know, you know, get rid of the water and uh, uh, um, a, a company that does that kind of work. I, I contacted my insurance, that's Traveler's Insurance, to AAA. And uh, AAA has been actually investigating what happened for the past couple of months because they wanted to see what they covered as far as um, uh, the damages for the house because there's extensive mold there and they wanted to know what the cause of it was first. And um, they sent a private company out to, uh, well, they hire whoever they, they get whoever they get <clears throat> that um, investigates things like that. And it, the conclusion they came to was something went wrong with the oil burner, which was not an, it wasn't an old one because it was maybe 10 years old. Uh, something happened with the oil burner where it stopped working. And um, so the heat went off and uh and that's what uh caused a, a pipe to freeze and and uh caused the water to um to uh, fill up the cellar and part of the house too because some of the baseboard heaters were uh, frozen were leaking also so it was leaking both uh, uh upstairs and in the cellar and uh okay. i'm still talking to the insurance company about it they haven't come to any conclusion yet of what they do or don't do and um I don't think I should be charged for something that happened like that. I am 74 years old, got attacked by a neighbor because he was stoned on whatever he was taking at that time, you know, drugs or whatever, and then um, forced to relocate uh, in a, and I have actually belonged to the address confidentiality program that has, that's run by Secretary of State Galvin where I have to be, I have to have a secret life because this person hurt me and threatened me with a gun, basically. Uh, the, the person oh. is a hunt, that's a hobbyist. Okay. That's why things went a little bit awful uh, for me. All and right. so um, I haven't been to the house, I haven't seen it, but I've seen photographs of it because I've been sent uh, photographs by uh, the plumber that uh, went to um, investigate, uh, the, you know, more things at the house and the um you know shut the water off again okay all right so i uh, think we've got a pretty good idea of what's going on um uh, and i live on social security and i'm getting food stamps at the same time because i can't get a job at the moment <laughs> okay I, I i i understand um not good. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 it, it's, and and it is the uh, long-standing policy of the department that if the water goes through the meter, uh, we 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 bill it. Um, uh, uh, it's it's. Um, there's no alternative. There's very very little um, alternative. Um, 
Well, you can just say discount the whole bill because it was an accident that happened. And, I know, um, yeah, I, unfortunately, that's not... Because uh... it was an accident that happened. I mean, oh, I, 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 I understand. What, 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 what if it was your house and your family? You know, you, you would... You know, and say, my gosh, this is a little bit strange. Plus, you're charging me for sewer, and not a bit of sewer got used. Yeah. Everything went into the cellar. <laughs> Nothing went into the sewer of Dudley. And uh, yeah. it's a little bit weird, too. Well, we can definitely ab abate the, the sewer abate portion the of it because it did portion. not go yeah, down the uh, sewer. That's not a question. How much? Yeah, it's a third, 2300 How much? Okay. 65 and, on the water, 23 on the and, sewer. And I was, I'm feeling because I'm a crime victim that you might be able to forgive the rest of it because there's no way that I could do anything um, to, you know, I have to stay so quiet that I can't even apply for jobs because I have to keep my address secret. It's wicked. It's wicked to have to live this way. And, um, right. Okay. To, and plus, you know, yeah, I, I, the, um, everything that's being said here is public. So, um, I just be careful what you say because we don't want to uh, we don't want to we don't want to compromise anything. Okay, I I, I, I certainly understand your situation. Yeah. Um, and uh, well, actually, I don't understand it. I've, I've never been in that situation, but um, I I understand what you're going through. Yeah. Um, but the bill part you do, Mr. Chairman, is yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the the bill part, you know, I've I've been there. I. You know, I had a, a toilet over, you run over um, for most of the 90 day cycle and it cost me a good chunk of change and the same the same, uh, same thing happened to me. Uh, of course there, it did go into the sewer. Um, yeah. <coughs> we could, uh, we could abate the, the sewer portion of the bill, but um, the, the water portion, um, um, that's uh plus the water in that area of Dudley is contaminated. We were I got I got mail from the water department. Uh, yeah, I, don't, don't drink the water and be careful taking a bath with it. So I think it's really cruel. Uh, they now they have to pay that much money for contaminated water. I was buying bottled water at the advice of the water department. Okay, it was um the for a very short period of time and we we did go through um significant uh, expense to um, to mitigate that that issue that issue did not last for was not uh, not an issue for very long um, okay. once we once we found out about it we were forced we were forced by the state and, and we you know we we did uh, um, go through extense uh, we're going through great expense now to, to uh, it's yeah. been temporarily fixed and it will be permanently fixed um, over the next yeah. couple of years. But it, the bill shouldn't go to a senior living on, seat on, on, on Social Security and food stamps. That's what I'm trying to say. I, I, you know? I, I understand. I understand. But that's also one reason she has insurance. But that's, that's yeah. Um, Mr. Chairman? Yeah. No matter how you look at it, Scott brought up, uh, the, the, Tom brought up the right idea. If it went into the foundation and into the floor, it didn't go into the sewers. Yeah. But the gallonage, the water flow costs us money. Right. Mm -hmm. Chemical, electricity, right. distribution. So water is not free, no matter how you look at it. We we we're a partner in this too. Right. Cost us a lot of money to run the system to pump that water, and as you mentioned, if it goes through the meter, it's a, it's it's a accountable. Yeah, I can see the you know the previous uh, bills, the previous usages were very very low. Uh, that's obviously must have been after you uh, after you moved out. That's just because the only water that was there was only to be used by the um, oil burner. Yep. For, for the baseboard. That's yep. why the water was still there. It was because it was not for anything else. It was for the baseboard heaters to keep working, yep. so that the pipes wouldn't freeze, but they froze anyway because something went wrong with the uh, oil burner itself. Yeah. And uh, my family owned that house has been for like about 50 years, never missed a payment, and this is the only time anything went wrong. And that's really what I'm really crying about. Okay. It's like we, after, you know, 
over 50 years, that house in my family's possession has not been a problem for Dudley at all, ever. Never missed a bill, never, you know, missed a payment, and just, you know, things went wrong, and my life went upside down. You know, it's just, I can't, I can't do anything about that. I can't change, you know, history. It just worked well, that way. The, Mr. Chairman, well, the problem we have is we cannot take personal problems in, into account. We have to go by, we charge the same for one person as we would the next. Yep. Is we well, I'm going to get some legal advice for this because there is an organization that's told me uh, okay. I can get free legal advice for this, and um, you know that's and, and, and that is that is well within your right, and and there may be you definitely should there may that. be organizations that can help take care of it for you. Um, they won't pay, they won't pay the bill, but they will help me with legal advice. Okay, mm -hmm. um, but um, there's nobody that will pay for that bill. Okay. Well, actually, um, you might check with the insurance company because the insurance company may be liable for that that bill, and it's certainly for the damage of the flooding damage if it's really your insurance. Right. The other part to it is, is you may have a legal claim against this individual who assaulted you and caused you to have to vacate your home. Well, that, that, that okay. That's, all of, that's a totally different... All, all of the legal stuff, that's, that's outside of what we can what that we can nothing, act on that situation has nothing to do with this water bill i am not even going to court for that because the man threatened to kill me i am not going to go to court for any reason for that okay reason all right um, i am not going to do that okay that's how, that, and that person is not trustworthy i'm sorry that you know if it was a trustworthy person i would say something but this is not happening <laughs> okay um well i think we can uh make a motion to abate the sewage the sewage mm -hmm. okay i'd like yes. to make that as a motion to abate the sewer portion on this bill yes okay um okay motion's been made is there a second i'll second it okay motion's been made and seconded to abate um, the amount of two thousand three hundred and seventy-one dollars and seventy-four cents from the uh, the bill at sixty-one Brandon Road. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Yeah, that's a four-one un four four zero unanimous. All right. Um, yeah, like I said, we just uh, abated the the uh, the sewer portion of the bill. Um, the water portion. I mean, um, uh, I guess the the easiest. Well, I mean, I can't advise you on what to do with it. Um, you can uh, you can get get the, the legal advice and 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 you know we will we will hold the um, hold it out there so that you know if there's something that can be taken care of, uh, we're not. I mean, we're not gonna. Well, I I I, I can't say much more um, legally. So um, you know, as as a as a resident and as a person, I can. There's a lot I can say, but as a as a water commissioner, there's only so much I can say. So, um, uh, you know, we we um, took about a third of it down off. Well, okay. What's it going to take to get? The, what would it take to get the rest of it off? Because uh, it's it's only water. It's not. <laughs> It's not going to be done. Uh, uh, un unfortunately, un unfortunately it, it, it's it, it's our business. To to us, it's a lot more than just water. Um, there's a lot of you know we're we 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 just voted to spend um, eleven million dollars to uh, to treat that just water to uh, to to keep it clean and keep it uh, keep it usable. What's that? charge the people who live in Dudley to pay for it, not me who can't live there. If I could live there, I would be there, and I cannot. I, I, I understand that, ma'am. I, I, I do. Um, I, I just, that's, that's where, yeah, we're... What we're talking about here is water that's already been used. We, 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 it's already passed through the meter. We can't, you know, there's, there's nothing more that we can do with it here tonight. 
that is what oh, I'm Okay, yeah, I mean, uh, we, we, have to, we have to deal with the auditors and the, and the legal, legal people on our side as well. O okay? It's not okay with me. Oh. Nothing about the bill is okay with me. Okay, <laughs> I understand. All right. Is there anything else? Um, uh, if you want advice, then we do with the collector do okay. payments. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the um, the uh, all the all payments are done through the treasurer collector's office, and they will work out payments. But we, you know, we will uh, we will, um, you know, I mean, it, it, it. There are there are legal avenues. Um, there are avenues. That, I mean, it, but we can't. We can't discuss that here. Okay, I, um, I'm sorry we can't do more, but uh, that's you know we've done what we can do. Okay. I don't know what to say to you. You know, I wish I could call you friend, and I can't because. Um, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean. I would like a friendly gesture, and this isn't a friendly gesture. This is just. Uh, un unfortunately, it's this is you know we're. We're in a professional um, uh, position right now, and, and that's where we have to stay. If if you are one of our mothers, we couldn't change the bill. Because if we did for one, we have to do for everybody. Everybody's equal. We've actually been pretty fair by abating the sewage. Right. Um, it's just, I mean, I, there's not there's nothing more more we can do with it. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, that's 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 where we're at. Uh, did you want to end the conversation? Is that what you're trying to say? Well, we, we have to. We have a, a, a long agenda. We still have, we have to move on with the rest of our uh, our uh, our agenda, our meeting. Um, there, there's 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 a little more that we can do at this point. Um, you know, you just I mean the old. You, Get get your legal advice and see what we'll we'll see what else we can see what else happens. Okay. It's not okay, but if you use that word just to end the conversation, then that's what's happening. Okay. okay. Have a good night. That's the tough part of our job. Yeah, no kidding. Um, I hope that wasn't your phone number you gave him. Uh, it's my phone that I just used, yes. <laughs> I know. I don't like doing that, but we don't have any other option in this room. Phone over there. Phone there. Well, I didn't know that. That's why he gets the big bucks. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Um, 51 Airport Road. Exception meter dispute. Um, they're not here, so we don't have any, any there's no arrangements been made. Did you see that? I did see that. I, I, remember, I remember the meeting. That was only a couple months ago. Um, as far as I'm, you know, just my opinion, but as one person, it's, there is no dispute. At this point, if they want to come in and talk about it, I mean, we can talk about it, but okay. Um, so we'll just move on. <coughs> Potash Brook culvert. Um, we do have one. Okay, um, we have a letter in our packet from um, Time Bond. Wanting to know what um, um, what direction they should be given, um, I suppose. You know, I, to be fair, I think we should have them uh, make a proposal. I did attend a meeting um, for with the state, and uh, it was involving Potash Brook area, plus the bridge over here. The bridge, yeah. That wasn't so much to their interest, but Potash Brook was. Oh, it was. I thought I, see, I had heard it was the other way around, you know, including our station area. 
So there's being an investigation done right now, I guess, to see about that because we explained the whole, I explained the whole thing with our station and the uh, culvert on Route 12 going down to Schofield Ave and the one by the uh, sewer treatment plant, that, the rail trail. Mm -hmm. um, so they're now aware and they're going to be looking into a few things there. But it doesn't hurt to get a proposal, too. From, from, uh, we have the one. Um, and then um, another engineering firm was brought up as well. Um, if, we get, if we get three proposals, we can act on, you know, we can, we'll have the, we'll have the uh, information. Um, uh, the, these proposals don't last forever. <laughs> Yeah, we, only, we, we yeah we were going to put the first one engineers right the first one was um, um, that was back in the beginning of April so um, um, I think this is everything but the actual construction this is everything yeah it was bidding construction administration. <laughs> Construction observation. <coughs> Who's hand on that, Mr. Chairman, as far as uh, requesting bids? Is it you, George, or the office? Um, we have like a th name of three engineers, like Jen was handling. It was, well, we got this one. But it doesn't seem like there's a lot of interest in it, people um, responding. I don't know the, how, how much of a proposal was put out there. I think there was just a... Uh, there's one that I know of, and then yep. maybe Ty and Bond. Did. Ty and Bond, uh, yeah, but I, I don't know. Uh, to I be honest, know. I don't know that we ever told them to, to, to give us a, pro <laughs> <coughs> a proposal for this. So uh, we should probably advise them to get a proposal. You know, propose... Um, You, you have a copy of it in your, in your folder yeah, as well. It was, was it? it should. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there's there's one, uh, um, and then um, so if we if we can get a couple more proposals and to keep up on that because we do but need to take care of it. one way or another we have to take care of it um, sooner rather than later. I'm, I'm sure the big big trucks going in and out of there for uh, chemicals. For the uh, no, for the building of the treatment plant, oh, there will be, yeah. are going to cause a problem, especially when they try to move those big tanks in. That's a lot of weight mm. on those that those little culvert pipes. I mean, they could very easily crush. Not tip over. Have the truck tip over. Yeah, They're carrying something, you know. Yeah, it's not stable, especially for so, that weight. So. Um, Yeah, the culvert. Um, we need to um, we we'll need to reach out to uh, this this company here and find out how long this, you know, what kind of an escalator there would be on this proposal. Are we putting this proposal out to bid? Um, we only got one bid so far. That GPI. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the process was for for getting this particular bid. I think we um, solicited. I don't solicited remember. Solicited. That was solicited. That was solicited. Yeah. That was solicited. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we gave her a name of three engineers, three or four. I think uh, I think possibly Bob's familiar with that firm from working in Douglas. And I, I know we mentioned like two other ones. One's, yeah. one's local and possibly Ty and Bond. And hit, you know. And it seems like maybe no interest in so uh, bidding it. Okay, and then um, all right. So we need we need to get moving on that. So how do you think we should proceed to contact people and see if they want to bid on well, it? Well, uh, we respond to this uh, this email here yeah. um, with uh, Ty and Bond to, uh, to get a proposal. And then um, I know there was another, another name that was being thrown around. I can't remember it off the top of my head. Um, get a proposal from them as well and, and then we can <coughs> move forward and then get whatever information <coughs> I know I had a conversation with uh, <coughs> the town administrator on uh, the town meeting and the 
uh, this meeting, the meeting you were talking about was the next day. <clears throat> and he said that uh, there would probably be more, there would definitely be more to come after. Um, but that was, that was the first. Um, so keep us informed as to what's going on and so we can, because the, one way or we, we have to take care of ours, but if, if the, the downstream stuff doesn't get taken care of, then ours really, you know, it's still going to flood. So, all right. Uh, Mason Road hydrant moves. Uh, what, what? Uh, Brian sponsored this one. Um, he was a little bit involved in some of the hydrant moving. Um, we helped the highway move two hydrants, one on Oakwood and um, Mason Road, another one further up at 38 Mason Road. The one up at 38 Mason Road was just pushed back a couple feet. Yeah, it wasn't moved back very far. No. He had a little tiff with... Uh, okay. Yep. And uh, about, you know, it should have been cleared off more. The trees should have been removed a little bit around it due to the fact that the fire department had put appliances on it. It's a little tight in there. Uh, even if we have to do some work on that hydrant or move it or change it over, it would be a little tight for us too. Um, but it was just left the way it was now. So he uh, just wanted everybody to be aware of it. And you know, the trees I don't. On the trees are behind it. There's a big one it's near it. Homeowner near the, trees. Hmm. Homeowner trees. It, the, one of the trees that's going to be removed is right next to it, and then there's a whole bunch of bushes right behind it. They, I mean, they didn't clear any of the. The, the brush around they, they the should have they, sh they didn't they didn't in. go to the homeowner and ask see, tell him hey listen we really we're doing the sidewalk we have to push the hydrant back we should have moved these trees really have to be moved back or you know or whatever so that the hydrant has the circumference around it for proper operation and that's kind of where that went to so nothing really materialized so it's it's basically where it is right now so it it's, it's, it's the hydrant right at the property line Hydrant was moved back from the property line. It was up. From it the was street. from the street for the sidewalk to the towards the house. Towards the house. But how close to the property line did we put it? Oh, it's right on the property. Right, on, right the on, property, on the property in the property. Well, there's, yeah. there's bushes on that property line, and they took the, the hydrant and just moved it back into the bushes. They, the homeowners were notified. The whole stretch of them were notified about the sidewalk coming. I understand, but my issue is if the guy, the homeowner, has trees on his property. How do we have justification to move them? Uh, for fire protection and rights to the height around the hydrant, but this is a we whole do different. We own this, the rights behind the hydrant. If if there's a we, if there's infrastructure put in there, there's, there is a there there's is, a right of way there's around. There's a right, around. right of way around that, and and the problem came into play is is that the, we, the, the highway should have notified them what the intent with the hydrant was going to be, because that wasn't our thing. We that we I, yeah, we no, just I, helped them. I understand, but I'm, I'm looking at it from the homeowner's yeah. side. Right now, there's is, no there's no homeowner, there's, there's no problem with the homeowner because nothing was touched. I'm just saying there could be an issue later on where we may end up damaging a tree or trying to we have to move a tree to serve replace the hydrant or something else. Or if they do a fire and they have the heavy appliances on the you know it's just that he he wanted that brought to the board's okay. attention that. But you, you know, said a right of way, but we don't have a right of way for the. Like so ten feet around the hydrant, or we three feet around the hydrant. We have rights away to, to, for operation okay. of the hydrant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you when you when you just have to shovel out a hydrant in the winter time, you have to shovel all the way around it. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. That's all. Okay. Just just let the board know. I mean, right now we're at a. I mean, and I, I. Not that it, not that it it doesn't affect affect form, fit, or function um, of the hydrant, but the one on the corner of Oakwood. Yeah. Has to be, yeah, it has to be turned around. I'm I, I looking at it. Okay, you moved it, but the whole thing is crooked. No, we have to turn it. They're, those are turnable. I know they are. Yeah, so we okay, we so haven't I, got to that yet. We're so, so busy fixing right, trenches. Now that we're on hydrants, huh? you come up sawmill. Why are there two hydrants 10 feet apart? Two different zones. High zone, low zone. Oh, is that why? Mm -hmm. I had three people, two people ask me. Yep. Why do you have two hydrants? That, that's two ends, and, and right in between it is the PRV. PRV that we, valve. We had okay. to, to, we had yep. to, that we had added in. That's, you'll see that in a lot of towns. Hydrants are close together. It's either two zones or two towns that share water supply. You'll have two hydrants. We have two right next to the, uh, right in front of the mill down here. 
That was because of the uh, the bridge. The bridge. We went on the culvert. We went on the culvert. Well, now they got the ice on it. Now they got the ice on it. Now you can tell them. Hey, uh, well, no, they got it on. It's, they a got high got it. Side, it's a high side and a low side, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Um, Bates Tank and Vessel, I'm, I'm assuming that's uh, well seven. Yeah, two big problems, and as most of you are aware of them anyway. Four main breaks caused because of the issue with some kind of pressure problem. There's two tanks sitting on site at Bates Hill. Uh, they're 25,000 gallons together, okay? They're the redundancy for water to go up and sort of go into the tank and then move down like it normally would replace the tank if the tank, when the tank is being done. Um, there's been a couple issues uh, with sequencing of the whole thing. There's ideas going out. Nobody has a clue, including the engineers, what's going on. We've had four meetings on it. Okay, Don't I've got. I've thrown out some ideas. Huh? Don't we pay the engineers to have a clue? The, this is a unique. As I told everybody, when they tell me I don't know what I'm talking about, this is a unique system. It's close knit. It's tight. It has anything down there can affect it over there. I told them a couple things have to happen, which they're addressing now. Brian's put his input in for the uh, booster station operation. Uh, should tie in off the Dresser Hill demand time. Um, so that things are open, so that if there's any pressure surge, it goes off and it will go into the booster station. The other issue came into play is that the stations down there are tied together still with the still on the um, blending, main. blending main per DEP, and with the new with the new well online pumping at 350, you're talking 600 gallons per minute of water going into that one blending main, which I say is too much, too far. Too, too hard when both stations are going on. And that corner side of Chase Ave was affected with the first round when it blew the main twice in there. After that, it went up to Mason Road and hit Lakeside Ave and blew that main up over there. Then we had one on Fairview Ave, which I tell everybody is the problem, and blew the main over there in the uh, <coughs> earlier time. So I stopped the project. I told them everybody's gonna stop, get through the holiday week right now, get more ideas, get more meetings, and come up with a better game, a better game plan. We think we did um, today. The uh, SCADA expert with Erickson was in, um, Ty and Bond was in, uh, Brian and I were in to, to discuss what our ideas were. They're all combined together. Um, so we're gonna try this again because we're on a time schedule now. We're gonna be charged from DN tanks for the delays, but I'm gonna fight that tooth and nail because it wasn't done properly the whole whole thing was rushed through um, but it is what it is we're going to try it again we're expecting more main breaks I don't think we can get out of it with the type of pipes we have in this town with any type of issue that's going to occur with this uh, jury rigging of the system and I know we're going to have more problems so I'm trying to prepare for it but it's killing my budget as in my report with the materials I've had a, we've had four main breaks and that took all my materials away I've had to replenish them all my Climax couplings, all my pipes, all my, you know, it's very expensive. God bless you. It's very expensive, and, uh, you know, I can't incur many more main breaks, but we have no choice. We're going to have to hope that we do the job and start things up and don't have an issue, and that's the best we can do with what we have to go on. You're going to have to learn well from it because you'll have the repeat problem when you do the tank. I, th I think, well, I think the rest of the is going to be a little bit easier. going to be a lot easier. That'll be easy because that, that just covers the, a separate, the second so, number. As, 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 I un, as I understood what happened the other night when, when all those main breaks happened, the booster station on Tan Yard Road shut down. Uh, the um, Dresser Hill tank was full. Booster station shut down. The booster station shut down, but pump seven, seven and six were still pumping. And you had those pressure tanks, those tanks that are sitting on Bates Road are also under pressure. They're not just static. Yeah. The, the tank is static, so that can really right. take pressure. Those booster tanks can't because they're under pressure, so they're putting pressure into the system. So when the booster station shut down, station seven and station three, station seven and station six were still pumping, and there was a, there was a pressure hammer, popped the mains. So what, as I understand it, and through numerous hours, many hours of conversation over the phone, what, what they're talking about doing is 
when the tank, when the booster station is going to shut down, before the booster station shuts down, station seven and station six shut down first. Then the booster station pump shuts down. Oh, yeah. That prevents the prevents the pot, the, the the pressure hammer. Right. Then those stations will come back on. I understand that's probably a solution, but to me personally, I think the engineer and the team we hired to do this should have known. The, there should have been there should have been more coordination. Absolutely. Um, and and I, I'm seeing so that there's going to gonna be some. There's, there's going to be one some, or the other or both fault that we had the brakes. There's going to be some. There's going to be some uh, some back and forth there. Um, but that's so that's they, any discussion of that should be done. Should be done, you know, and probably be done in an executive session. Yeah, because I think we should be reimbursed for the four brakes. Again, yeah, that that's a, that's a good possibility. Um, we I, th I believe we're going to try to put the Bobby the M and M part of it on SRF on monies for right now, you know, but just to see, what, but that's that's just all probably. of that all of that discussion. Like I said, should probably SRF be done. Isn't, is it is it not the engineer or the the team we had to do it? Right? Well, no, no, it's part of it's just the whole project under the whole project umbrella of, of this. That's I understand, all. but it's still it's still our money. Yeah, it's not the. the is We're pretty much okay. We have money, so you don't have to reimburse us. Their shortfalls are draining our budget. That's yes. the bottom line. So, the yes, and again, those kinds of discussions should be held in open meeting. I, I don't think, uh, in my no, opinion. Not. So, if we keep discussing it in open meeting, we're just laying everything out there that that might happen. You know, might have to happen. We're coming I mean, that's up, just my opinion. We're, I don't we're, know. we're coming up with a game plan. We came up with the best game plan with everybody involved. Uh, you know, I can't say that engineers should know how our system works. I gave them all the warnings and all the suggestions to how we should proceed. Brian worked on some stuff with them, and we're, we got the skater guy in to make sure things are regulated properly as we see it like that. So I'm expecting better things. I'm not expecting a disaster, but I'm expecting better things come Monday. That's going to be the drain down time. We're going to start moving forward this week. Okay. Okay. That's the bait situation. Okay. Vessel... The treat the temporary. Uh, Sorry, are we going to have a joint meeting with our engineer in? We the yes, the, the, this is all going to have to play out, and then we're going to have to we're going to have to go back and forth. Yes, there's going to be, but play. I'm just asking, uh, play out how you're going to call and finally are we going to sit down and? Yes, we'll have a meeting. Okay. Well, we'll we'll have to, um, but we have to be careful what we say in open meeting. I understand that. I just want to get it out there that we're, we're not done with it. Jim. Well, absolutely, we're not done with okay. it. Okay. So um, because he just said that we're he had to restock our shelves, to put it to put it bluntly. And well, then we we paid for how many reverse nine one one red calls that cost us money. Every that's time. And we no, have to do more of those come next week too no. to make it's sure not, that people are aware of that the way same anymore. thing. Oh, no. That's a flat rate. We pay yeah. the flat rate, and that's it. You don't pay per call anymore. Yeah. Okay, and I. Apologies for interrupting, but we're not doing the Bates tank right now. Did we tell people that? No, what happened because was... Because people uh, were shutting their, their boosters off because we... we that that's only goes out, and everybody's been taken care of on the booster, with even some personal service to make sure. Um, those are just certain areas up, up by the tank area, but everybody's fine right now. They were told, everybody right now... But nobody went, was told that we, sh we stopped. Only, only if there was an issue with the pump themselves, you hear them squealing, or that the alert goes out that there's low pressure, then they know to check them or unplug them. Okay. Um, right now, everybody's are still concerned about it. You know, it, it there's still have, but if okay, there's only they, so much we can put out in these these little, you know, twenty five word messages. Uh, people have to, they have to. I'm just thinking of the homeowner. If I'm I'm at work and I'm at work all week and I'm thinking about geez I'm not home worrying about my pump for no and I'm doing I'm worrying for nothing because you guys ain't even doing it. Okay, well, we put everything in the message that we, we including that including you know, some pumps have tanks with them which right there is they're fine there but 
But I, I tell you, you, you can't you just can't send out a warning at eight o'clock in the morning when people have already left the house. Yes, they have to be done. They have, and well, I, that, that's not fair to anybody. I mentioned that right away. I mentioned that already. So These messages need form. to go out a couple days before. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah. Friday is going to be the the message for next week's startup. Okay. Like it was before. Okay. In yep. general, a couple days in advance that out to let us. people know starting I, Monday morning. I can do set Friday and Saturday. Um, I'd rather not do Sunday and bother everybody for a third time, but maybe Friday and Saturday I could put two messages out. And they need to be you know, done at and, a reasonable and, you know, time, too. People, I know we got a lot of complaints about the blasts at midnight, yeah, but, yeah, I mean, yeah. what are well, you going to do? We, 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 brought, we were two parts of town were out of water, so we, we you know, yep. unfortunately we had, to that, do, we had to do it. Sometimes it happens. Yep. You, you just can't deal with it. But those um, are questions that I know I got a couple of them. So um, with this on the vessel... On the pump at well seven, the vessel right now is out of service because well seven's pump blew on Friday night. Um, we're going to be investigating the whole thing when we pull it up tomorrow. We have a replacement coming in. Is Frank, but Frank pulling that? What is it, a winch truck? Yeah, the boom truck yep. has to get in there. Lucky had a supplier had one on the had one at the shelf there. Um, station three is running right now in blend. <coughs> that little turbine is running. That's oh, why. I'm sorry, how, how old is that pump on seven? Uh, over a year, over a year, just over a year old, and they warranted for a year. But I'm going to try to see what what caused have to, it. You what, have to see what caused it. What yeah. if there's a pump failure, whatever, and the electricians coming in to find out why any arresters that should have been put in, either they weren't put in or they didn't work, or what caused the VFD to say yeah. over voltage because that's right on the VFD. Yeah. So there's some, there's a whole mess of stuff going on. This, this, this investigation and. and I was home Friday night. I don't live that far from there. If there was a lightning strike, I would have heard it. It was in the distance. I saw it from my window, and but, I heard, but it was from a distance. If there was a lightning strike in Dudley, we would have heard it, and you would have felt it, and you would have. No. I don't know. Could, I, I don't know. It could I, be I don't a lot. Buy that it's a lightning there's, strike. There's a bunch of theories out there. I'm not going to know anything until we, yeah. till we get yeah. into it. So, so um, right now, so Saturday... Uh, Luke called me. We went in there and we uh, got an electrician in there to start re recalibrating everything, get <laughs> things back running again because we had issues. Some of the old paneling <coughs> had to be reset because of the old station. We haven't used. We don't use it that much. Uh, we just use it in emergency. Thank goodness. So uh, that was all cleared. Everything was put up to par, and we were able to activate the station with the with the secondary pump. Um, right now. Um, we anticipate it to go back into service by the end of this week, hopefully. <coughs> and uh, DEP was notified of the whole thing. Um, and along with that, um, we are doing our PFAS testing of all the stations continuously now because of the new setup we got here. So that's coming up this week, too. Um, well, eight. <coughs> Was the other issue on? Uh, I'll wait on that. <coughs> right. um, what was the cost of the pump on the facility? For installation in the pump, it's somewhere around eight grand or ten grand, somewhere in there. Find out if there's a fault. Yeah, well, we can, then we, yeah, we, we can find out after. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so that tank, with that, does that have to be um, cycled? Yeah. It'll it, start up again. We'll be flushing no, out. but does it need to be cycled in order to keep that carbon GAC from packing down from just sitting yeah. still? Yeah, yeah, they're going to be doing that as soon as they activate the new that well because that well's tied into that directly. That's the only well. I understand that. What that's not my question. My question is, in the meantime, while that is sitting still, that carbon is settling. Is yep. that going to cause a problem? It shouldn't. We still have enough time to get this in. We got it in pretty quickly. Okay. So we should just. Be all right. I just don't want to have an issue with the fact that the carbon all packed down in the bottom of the yep. tank. I've already. That's still. Too, I've too, talked to Derek. Too long. From, uh, Derek's going to be coming in from Tie and Bond to make sure uh, when we get this okay. thing going tomorrow. All right. That we're in good shape. Uh, that's it as far as those two things go. All right. Indirect costs. Um, we haven't gotten a we haven't gotten a response yet. We're still waiting. We're supposed to get. Um, it's it's all been noted. Um, dates dates and times have been and uh, of communication have been noted, and we still haven't heard anything. We can't act on it until we get 
and get some uh, get the answers that we get to our questions. Can we send a letter to the selectmen? We can send another. We can send another letter. The select George can. You? Yeah, I could tell Jen. I could yeah. find out what the, if the Jen responses are coming back. We'll, we'll question him with you know. When are we meeting? Or, yeah, you know? I'll actually go see John myself and. Uh, okay. Find out Thank you. Going. Okay. Uh, superintendent's report. Okay. We got, um, it, we got it via email and we have uh, a printed copy of it here. Most of it you guys are aware of. A um, couple things that are, uh, we still have the radar people coming in at the Bates tank to give us a, give us a grid of what's going on up there I with that. I thought that was already done. Not yet. They oh. moved it to the 8th uh, okay. of June. Um, the um, right now um, we plan on, like I said, doing that Bates tank startup on uh, startup again on beginning of this week coming up. So, like I said, hope for the best on that. Um, we've been uh, the um, the high, the um, sewer. I want to thank the sewer department and uh, especially for all the amount of help they've given us with all these breaks and these troubles and these uh, patches and trenches and. Uh, the highway two highway guys came out uh, to help us with the main break on Lakeside to start. Um, I called for more backup guys to go because uh, I had to call Eminem in to start the Chase Ave one while we were still in the middle of this one, uh, and somehow nobody showed up there. So what I did was we ended up taking some of our resources from that site and moving them to the Chase Ave site to help uh, Eminem get going on theirs try to get people water by morning, which we worked out. They were able to get, get that done. Um, uh, let's see. This, uh, the other one, there was two breaks on Chase Ave, one on Lakeside. Fairview Ave was an issue because we had to call in a company to find the, find the actual uh, problem, where it was coming up from. We were down, if you look Fairview Ave, we were down towards the bottom by First Ave area, not too far from the bottom. That's where the water was coming out. It was 60 feet up the hill where the actual break was because it was following a drain they had put in uh, right down to the bottom and it, we, we, we couldn't come up with anything. So we had two big areas we had to fix there today. All the areas are fixed right now around town. So we're right from scratch. Uh, everything is done. Um, so we're hoping, like I said, for good, uh, that we'll be all set there. Um, I'm trying to think of Number 20. 20 I'm just seeing that too yeah that one uh, the tank the garage tank is uh, is done um, at the uh, at the water department garage and that was scheduled anyway coming up this season to talking about the lower garage lower garage. Oh, okay all right that was scheduled this season to be uh, replaced with a new furnace along with the sewer department furnace that's done too so I got at least another year out of both of them but it's already starting to leak make a okay. mess so we're gonna we're gonna take care of that through. Get that taken care of before we end up with a yeah major leak down there. Um, any questions on the water side? Or yeah, quick question. Yep. Uh, not not that. Scott, you made the comment, the booster pump turned off. Right. But whatever, three or six failed to shut off. They were still. They well, were still why off. wouldn't the extra water go into Bates tank? Because uh, Bates tank was shut off. Oh it w no. It yes. Was shut off. Yes. yes. So the tanks were. In, oh. We were already in the operation of we draining were in the down. Operation of, so, okay, you had, yeah. so, so you had pressure there. There's nowhere for that. But pressure okay, to go. okay. It, but so it, it popped it, out the weakest point. So in other words, after we had the fiasco two weeks ago, we've been running the. T we ran those two tanks for a couple of days. Yeah, which we, we drained out tried and, run and running. Them. Tried to run them. We, they, they when, we, when you first had the leak at Fairview, Brian made the decision, shut the hydrant off and open up the tank and start using the tank. Yeah. Because he's like at eight feet of water. Well, Lakeside Ave, when Lakeside yeah. would happen, I immediately right. says, let's let's go so, we get so, him back so, to the tank. And yeah, so, so we, there was one. Okay, yeah. all right. Chase Ave came down. So in other words, that, that's just a proof that you need But remember, to remember one thing: when everything travels from down the down with the pump station, it comes up in First Avenue. It hits it's Mason Road. Yeah, it goes up Mason Road. So we have pressure reducer valves there to blow at the hydrants when it goes out happen. before it gets But it there. didn't. Yeah, we're going to readjust those, those. Those weren't adjust. that were adjusted sounds a little to me too like high. A little adjusted high, maybe. Sounds something. to me like an expansion problem. Something has to happen to handle the excess expansion. Yeah. Well, we, our, our system has always been a gravity system. Yeah, yeah. Well, we shut the gravity system on and made it a pressure system. Made it a pneumatic well, system now. Uh, 
no place there to was go. no there was nowhere for that no pressure to go. It came out the weakest point. Okay, that answers so, that. So yeah, we're pressure, yeah, we got PRVs. The tank was we have PRVs on on fire hydrant. I noticed the one at the stay at the yeah. That's going to get station. moved further up by the school, and another one maybe just up by Mason and uh, one of the Delaney. But PRVs on the um, hydrant gates. On yeah. the hydrants. Just yeah. On ports. Yeah. Um, We've also, um, if, there, if you guys are all said on the water side, suicide, with this, there's been a lot going on too. Uh, we've been meeting with the, uh, uh, with Ty and Bond for the uh, SSO. That's the new, uh, we went through, went through that for the, yep. uh, the, it's like the water. You're going to have your operational manuals. You're going to have your, what you have here, there, um, the system itself. Um, there's all sorts of uh, reporting now that gets done whenever those things bubble up in the street. Um, and it's not just call the nearest guy and say no. You got to file a whole thing now. It, it's a little bit more involved, but we're getting all our information together, uh, and uh, Tyamon is there to help get it all uh, strung out to what DEP is requiring, and uh, put us in a nice package like uh, we did on the water side. It's a little conforming. So, and like I said, I appreciate all the help they've been giving us because it's been okay. A well, <coughs> just. The whole reason for having people cross train and yep. is because that they're, they're one work crew. Yep. They have certain duties day to day, but when the shit hits the fan, sorry, um, yep. everybody's 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 a worker. Yep. So been going very well. Okay. Um, anything else? Any feedback on your uh, advertisement for your part-time employee? No. One may be one may be interested. <laughs> I mean, it's a good job. It pays okay. You know, I don't know why we haven't got any more bites, but uh, well, that's just, that's just the way it is out there right now. Um, I get it. Where do we stand on the paving of Mason Road? I know they're doing the yeah. sidewalk, but are we the money earmarked for our paving? Are we giving it to the town and say that's all we're paying, or are we doing the paving? What's that's the engineers that are controlling that. Ty and Bond's in control of all that. They're where, what's, you know, they have to do to make that right. I have, I have asked Ty and Bond, because the paving was supposed to be happening right about now. That's why I'm asking. This is what it costs for pavement. Yep. As of now. At the last selectman's meeting, this pre-town meeting, I was told that the, the sidewalk project will start next Monday. And it will take eight weeks. Then I asked, so you're saying that it should be done sometime first week of August? To which I got a snarky response. I said eight weeks. Um, but so eight weeks, yeah, sometime the beginning of August, they should be done. As soon as they're done, or when they're close to finished, and they know a, a pretty good date, Ty and Bond will be notified, Halleck will be notified, their paving company will be notified. We're ready. Hopefully they're available. Okay. Um, but then they will do the paving project. Who's paying the cost difference? Um, that will be a fight. I've been I've been vocal right up front since day one. It's, it's no if there's a, if there's an escalate, there is an escalator on the cost of pavement. If the pavement goes up, and we have to pay more, we're going to be looking for someone I, to pay for the difference. I don't think we should put ourselves in that situation. Oh, we are in that situation. We 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 we, 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 we're, we are there. I, I can see this we, dragon. What about school buses when school opens in September? That's it not a nightmare. Right, that's sorry. Well, I know we wanted it done now. It's so, you know what people will look to us, and I will be pointing yeah. right down the hall. I, but you know I'm, the I'm way I'm not taking it. You know the way the town operates. I'm only one and, person. Okay, it costs us a hundred grand now, or a hundred and fifty. You know. Um, the fully, chances of us getting the fifty thousand out of the town. That it will we it will be dealt with. It will be dealt with. I'm sure a meeting should be in place before that time to get it away. Before uh, I think a meeting should be now. If we're ready to pave now, I've been asking for it and I've been looked at like I'm an asshole. Sorry again. 
Uh, it's it's been or, or we just go through with the paving and let the town deal with the consequences. Uh, that's well, we can't. Well, we can't do that. But uh, yeah, but it, it's it's the that time will come and that, It'll that be a fight, fight but that fight will win. happen. That fight will happen. We may not win, but that fight will happen, and it will be. It will be. And if it gets dirty, it'll get dirty. I'm. I, I'm I'll go there. I don't care. But again, that stuff we shouldn't discuss in open meeting. We'll, we'll fight. We'll, we'll fight over it. But, it, but it's the there. potential to cost the the user is money. We're doing a disservice by not. Uh, yes, and we have to decide when to fight and when to when to wait. And again, it should be discussed somewhere outside of an open meeting, in, the, in executive session. If, if it comes to that, it should be discussed in executive session. The chairman, we can't even get a meeting to discuss it in directs with the selectmen. And in uh, 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 that, we'll have to deal with it the way we can deal with it. If they don't want to deal, then we only have one other option. And again, it should be done outside of an open meeting. I don't know how many, how many different ways to say that. Well, I, I, I misunderstand then. If, if we're scheduled to pave? If they, if they refuse to pay for it, then we hire a lawyer and we take care of it. There, it's out in the well, open. Well, we have an option, Mr. Chairman. We could just do the paving. Well, if that's what, you're, you're, if that's what you want to do, then, then you can make to. that. We've already agreed not to. We can't. That, we, that, that bus has already gone down the road. We, we agreed. That's we agreed by non-action. Basically, I was I you know I've been I've been fighting this fight since day one. They don't want to you know they're they're sick of hearing from me, and that's fine. Uh, they'll continue to hear from me. Um, there's other stuff going on. Again, I'm not going to yeah. discuss it. Okay. No, I'm not going to discuss it. Recorded. It's not going to happen. Okay. Um. um any other public? Uh, any other board comments? Jay? No. No. Keep my fingers saying, crossed. <laughs> Bill? I'll make a move. We, uh, I, I, I just have one other thing. Okay. The, uh, during those breaks on at Lawn Lake, Lake side. side, Lake Side's away from the lake, Lake View is on the side of the lake, in a Polish town. Um, <laughs> um, I, I, that's, the only way I can, that's the only way I can remember which one's which. We're only half Polish. Um, but in any case, um, the uh, have to have to end it with a little bit of a laugh. Anyways, <laughs> I, I was there until 2 a.m. and I laid awake because my window was open and I could hear the backup alarm of the loader as the last of the stuff was being cleaned up. Um, you guys, kudos to the crew, the the the, the two highway guys who came out to help. Um, I I watched. Um, I watched the you I watched your crew deep in the mud dealing with one break and then getting a call that there's another break on the other side of town and it was handled it was handled quickly it was handled professionally nobody blew up I can tell you if I was one of the guys in the mud I would have been going nuts that's just I mean, you know you know you know the kind of person I am yeah. I would I would have gone nuts you handled it really well. Everything was done. You called in, called in reinforcements. Um, you, you guys did a, did, you did a great job. And you were down, you were down one, you were down two water, per, water personnel. So you were working with people who really didn't know a whole lot about what was going on. Yeah. Um, they were just there to, as extra hands. So you, 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 you did a great job. Um, you guys, the Timmy and, um, and Luke, um, I, I was impressed. Um, I was I was there, and and your administrative assistant even came out after sending out second. Couldn't find rating. boots for her though. <laughs> the, after after being called to send out the second With rave at shovel? midnight, and she showed up on the job site. I and wanted so, to give her a golden shovel. <laughs> so in any case, good job to the to the full time full time crew. Um, it doesn't get said enough. You do a great job with what you've got. 
So Appreciate keep it. up the good work. Thank you. Well done. All right. Thank you. Okay. You say it. Well done, George. No. no. You, uh, oh. I make a motion that we adjourn the meeting. I'll second. Okay, <laughs> motion's been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mm -hmm. Good thing. Okay. <laughs> Have a good night. Good